many players be crazy like that? deciding to stay up so late okay uh oh i don't know will you are in the charge you are in charge you of started? your own destiny my friend i did not no i am not in charge of my own destiny <laughs> at least hopefully not according to one of my group members okay uh, now we in one about. of my classes because I don't like it when people do that. It's rude. And activate the teleporter the before everybody's there. Well, activate it before you have the MPA full. If you activate it as soon as the MPA gets full, usually the twelfth guy can get there with plenty of time to spare. But if you activate it at like six people, you may not even get twelve. Which is why it's rude to do it. The so, operator, I have a quick question about this game. Mm -hmm. How many people are are able to be grouped together for Four. content? Okay. And you can have three parties in an MPA, or both one-man parties in an MPA. And you can lock an MPA, so if you have an alliance that has at least 12 people, you can get a alliance-only MPA going. Nice. Which can be really helpful for some of these urgent quests. Especially All right. if everybody's at the right levels for them. First question I have, how do I enable full screen mode on this game? In the so tweaker, you, you can change it to the yeah, regular. You're using the tweaker, thing. right? Yes, I'm using the tweaker. Go into the PSO2 tweaker settings. settings. Tweaker settings. No, PSO2 settings. Or PSO2 settings. Oh. And it will have a display option, and you can set the, the display. Ah, you can even the pump it. You can even pump it up above the. Uh, hey, wacky. The resolution. But oh, yeah, uh, the Something biggest happens. the biggest thing is that um, it doesn't the game doesn't oh, natively um, support 4K. Text size, text size oh, I don't I don't care. Yeah. I only have I only have 1080p monitors, so that doesn't matter. So yeah. Okay. Um, then yeah. Make sure you set the text size to 1.5x if you're doing a 1080p. Uh, text size to 1.5x. Okay, got it. So, Peril, uh, completely yeah. important question. Uh, the, your your desktop wallpaper. Yes. Why it's does from, it look familiar, but why can I not place it? Uh, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, you changed oh, okay. it? Yes, I did. I always liked your World Ends With You one. I know, but I have, um, but I'm really into Xenoblade Chronicles right now. <laughs> that I is have the awesome, night, wacky. I have the night scene from uh, the night version of Xenoblade for my work computer, and then I have the day version for my home computer. All right, here you go. Hang on to your butts, everyone. We're gonna hit that start button. I know the start button at least works. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta set up your tweaker shortcut so that it will just open the game, huh? Yeah, you don't need to do that. I like having it though. Well, I wanna- And he wanna... said he'd like to have that. I want to make sure I have everything all set first, and yep. then we'll you set it. You can also turn the graphics settings up significantly. This game's really old. Yeah, I've got mine set up in the 2156 by 1040. Oh, I meant you can turn up, like, turn the shaders and textures and everything to max. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for yeah, the yeah. tweaker? Uh, th that you can do that in the tweaker, the official launcher, but I don't think that's ever going to be the ever because it's going to run Okay, I'm guessing this is really, really loud. One second. Okay, ship two? Yep. Yes. Okay. And you should have my ship 
or my number for the referral. Okay, so you how... that or if... Uh, okay, so port menu. If you're well, okay, which thing you're asking about. Support menu, change player ID name would be how you change your player ID. Right, so hold on, let me let me fix my audio settings real quick. Okay. You can also change your graphical settings to max everything out. I kind of wish Feral was already in on this, because he'd love how intense and fast this is moving. Another rare one of this. And we got a dark. We got the uh, Grani and the uh, Husk Nova and Darl. Two runs in a row. Okay, so where do I enter the friend ID referral code? Thing? It'll be, it'll come up when you do the character creation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you you won't miss it. Okay, create new character. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. okay, here you go. Um, if you know your friend's player ID. Okay, we're going to. Okay, I have Artemis posted his. Because you know who doesn't like free stuff, right? And I only care about Artemis. Oh, oh no. I was gonna say if somebody else wanted to give you theirs. Oh, I didn't get anything out of that guy. I could try to get mine. I think I'd have to. A giant fleet on an you, you can grab it from in game. Alright, beginning cutscene. It's inception. I'm just gonna mute you guys, so. You mean the, uh. Ushering the... in a new chapter in history. Add? The in game ad? <laughs> no, he's talking about the story cutscene for galaxies. Oh, right. Plus, the Oracle form a force to explore the unknown planets it discovers along the way. This one million one th hundred thousand. Uh, hold on. Arx is comprised of four species that belong to Oracle humans, natural all rounders, gnomons, photon manipulators. Casts sturdy mechanical beams. Alright, I unfortunately Marshals. have to bone out for a little bit. Um, the Air baby burrito is going berserk, so I will be back. So Artemis, you seem to be our resident lore person. Oh no. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Operator has played through the entirety of the JP stuff, so he knows it. Well, except for the one of like the most recent chapter because it wasn't translated yet. Well, I mean basically what I'm gonna be asking about may not Essentially this is Fantasy Star Online. Two. Yes. Has no connection to the story of the first game. What is the story of the first game? <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, okay, so like that that cutscene that we just saw on Farrell's stream, it yeah. talked about how there's the the establishment of you know Arc? the the deep space exploration, the arcs. Not tied to Fantasy Star Online one at all. Really. Give me five seconds, or like, I'll give you five, more like a minutes. But um, I'll go find a cutscene from PSO One on YouTube that would give you basically the entire s premise of the original story.
I love how Farrell just called his baby the little bit Frito Burrito. Yeah, I, I almost went in there and went into the uh, chat when he said that earlier and replied, "Why don't you just eat the burrito?" <laughs> oh, the, there, there are there are some people who would eat a baby. And that would be called <laughs> cannibalism, my dear children, and it is in fact frowned upon in most society. <laughs> It, it, except in the the um, the the witches society from Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, and all the cannibal societies in South America. And or Africa. I don't know if Africa has any, but I imagine they might. Maybe in Polynesia. Let me bring up the menu again. Good grief! I don't recall that being an issue in JP. A menu. I was trying to pull up my inventory to start checking stuff into the storage bin, and it... Well, you've got code explosion over there, so watch it. I know. But it wasn't letting me pull up my menu because... Oh! I went down. Um, they were... the announcer was talking, and I don't recall that being an issue on the JP servers. Which makes you wonder what kind of voodoo they had to work. This? To okay. get it running on the server or something. I'm sure Paul would agree with you that it's voodoo. Nah. Or William. William Paul. I don't know. Ah, uh, we didn't get a rare one this time. Still infected, though. Bonus XP. Nice try. Dead. Yeah, I was already hitting his back the entire dang time. Joys of the Bouncer. Just wait till I get Phantom. Oh, I'm sure that it's going to be a lot of fun. Heck, I'm probably going to try Phantom when it comes out. <laughs> Everything will die in Manusha. I mean, that one class is the whole reason you're doing a Dex Mag. Yes. Otherwise, this would be a tech character, and I would be doing force techer and absolutely having way more fun than on stupid katana braver. I should probably get jet boots bouncer up and running, but I don't really feel like learning jet boots bouncer. <laughs> Well, I enjoy it. Well, I know you enjoy it. Why By the way, those cubby, oh, those three cubby rooms. Until the UQ ends. The main event, right? Well, not, this one will keep going for up to 24 minutes, but the... Availability period is three more minutes, so if we hurry, we can get one more, is what he's saying. All right. Come on, people, chain. Go, go, wow. go, go. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, now they pop them. Yeah, I popped mine early so that it would be doing something by the time we got to this stage. He's dead. Boom. You know, I hadn't realized it before that that was Luther. Yep. 
All right, so we're gonna wait. No, we're going to run straight in there and grab the next one, so we can do this one more time. Okay, so next block or retry on block. Uh, try with multiple blocks just to be sure. Because we were not getting full parties very quickly on that one. See, now we've got 11 here. Now we've got one minute left until the availability period ends. It's pretty good. Oh no! Oh! Just made it. <laughs> I mean, once you have the quest, you're good. Well, I, I mean, I just didn't want to fall behind on killing oh, everything. You, you just know. barely made it down here. Yeah. <laughs> Got to learn to keep up, man. See? Oh, okay. So the entire thing was ending. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I didn't know. I didn't know if there was a second phase to this one, like on the other EQs. Nope. This is just go kill stuff for thirty minutes. It's great for leveling. Oh, apparently I got the uh, rare back for the Ragnar set at some point. That's good. May not be as good for you, but sounds good. I mean, I've got a tensor set that's good enough until I can get Psyche. Masetta. I wish my set of auto pickup worked like the rest of the auto pickups. Where it's from a range? Mm hmm I know why it doesn't. And it's because my set of auto pickup was implemented within like the first six months of the game's life. Actually, I think it was more like the first three. Because people would go on these great big huge PSC bursts in the urgent quests that were running at the time. And they would get tons and tons of drops and running around pre holding the e button was really obnoxious to get all the meseta off the ground so they implemented auto pickup for meseta and then several years later they implemented auto pickup for other things man i'm getting unlucky this time around it's not really about the rares if we wanted rares, we would do this on extremely hard and not very hard. Not going to do much good, but hey, why not? Everything died so fast there because of that. Nah, not because of the photon blast. They're already dead. The photon blast didn't get out fast enough. The photon blast might help here, though. Because it had a triple chain long enough to last just enough to get to here. Welcome back. Is the burrito properly unbeserved? Operator right, was how well was wondering is, if you we? were going to consume said burrito. <laughs> yeah, I have the burrito with me. Oh, good. We will, uh, we'll see how long this works. 
All right. Ugh. He was he was not going to sleep for the little lady. So uh, he's got to come out with me. Something messed up with your green screen. Um, it's because I turned the big bright light off. Oh. Just so he's not blinded by my big garage lights. Makes sense. What? I'm putting a priority on the burrito rather than gaming? I know, right? Ah, I just, you know, I, I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I question all the judgments you've made in life. Well, he is, he is rocking a princess binky right now. Well, hey, you know. Because that was the one I could find. <laughs> <sighs> well, I mean, you are in California, so what do we expect? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So we got. <laughs> so as you far as I can humans, tell, you got your space elves, you got your robots, and then you got your yes, demon. again, rare. So what's that fourth one, operator? Yeah, we're going the with hot chick robot. Ah, but what type of hot chick robot? I don't know. Technically, they're a kind of cyborg. Might as well explain. Support. Might as well explain how casts work with how they with their uh, with their designing, like with clothing and stuff too. Oh yeah, they have parts. Yeah, unlike most of the things where you just dress them up, it's parts. Um, but before we go in explain that. Let's explain classes, since that's what he's on. Okay. So you've got your hunter, which are your more tanky melee. You have a non-tanky melee as well. You have braver, which uses a katana and bow, and it's a hybrid class. Ranger uses rifles and launchers, and is the okay range. Force is your space wizard. And, let's see, bouncer uses Ooh. soaring blades, aka flaming swords. And jet boots, are they called in that? Yes, jet boots. And for oh. techs and such, um, casts get quite the severe penalty with techs compared to other classes because, well, their tech stat is noticeably lower than other um, races. It's like somewhere around the 170 to 100 lower than the other races okay so so what is what is kind of is there is there a downside of picking cast yeah your text will be very slightly weaker basically you won't have as much uh, magic power oh and also your tech because your tech attack is low you might have a harder time equipping weaponry that requires tech attack in the end game. Bloody. Uh-oh. Hold up. Oh, dear. I have offended the little one. trying to deploy the secret weapon of the swing. We with the secret weapon! Unfortunately, it's not going as planned. We, uh... Because he looks like... He looks like he's attempting to close his eyes. I don't know. Because the problem is, my poor wife, she's just absolutely hit a wall. And she's like, I can't deal with him anymore. So 
but she's just like, you have fun. So now I'm just kind of like. <laughs> you can probably hear him on mic, can't you? Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, it, it sounds like he's on his way out. Here, let me see if he'll take his screen key again. I think that if I understand baby well enough, it's it, the burrito is basically trying to say, "I'm not tired. I'm not. I don't need to go to sleep." <laughs> As he's oh yawning. Guys, what are you talking about? You pathetic mortal. Oh. <laughs> Cute little tired. bundle of joy. Go unconscious. We, I love we, you, but we, please slip into unconscious oblivion right now. <laughs> we, we might have to clip that so Farrell will be able to hear what was said while he was gone. Okay. <laughs> I go ahead and clip it. I'm not redoing it. <laughs> okay, so, um... So, okay, so in terms of races, humans are generalists with uh, slightly higher defenses and average across the board attack. Newman specialize in technique, aka magic, and casts have higher striking and ranged. Dumans have slightly higher all attack and slightly lower defenses. Okay. So, I... And they also have horns, which is why I prefer to You're... Do this than people. I like them because they can they're the only race that get two different colored eyes. That was cool. Okay, so I kind of I kind of dig the bouncer class. That one looks kind of interesting. How viable I, is that? I play bouncer. <laughs> um, bouncer is well, like every class it is technically viable. Um, successor I... classes haven't relaunched yet, so every class is still currently valid, viable. As soon as successor classes come out, the amount of effort that goes into making a, one of the currently existing classes viable goes through the roof. Okay. But those are not yet. So if I were to choose a cast bouncer... So, you see, the funny thing about Bouncer is it's not just jet boots. It's also got the soaring blades. And the cast Double will really excel at the thing. soaring blades. And, and the, the uh... Let's see what else. Not... The gun blade. Yeah, but the gun blade's worthless. It's true. Everyone can use a gun blade, but it's an absolutely worthless weapon. Okay? That's all you need to know about gun blades. So, the jet boots will be slightly less powerful, but jet boots are not uh, is strictly speaking about just outright attack anyways. The only real worry about taking a bouncer cast is that you might run into issues with getting um, enough tech power to equip some of the weapons at endgame, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue with a Full dex or tech mag. Typically, but where you're going bouncer, you'll want dex. Oh really? I'm yeah, so you can I... use both soaring blades and jet boots. Uh, Fair enough. Okay. So you're locked into one class, though, correct? No. no. Okay, you can change your class later. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, well. we'll... Uh, we'll start. Big, big bot. You get an item called a mag that boosts your stats. This mag needs to have two. Ha this mag has 200 levels. All 200 need to be plugged into one stat for it to be done properly and not wasting stats. Okay. To get additional mags, you have to pay the equivalent of three U U.S. dollars. So, so in, so technically, if I don't want to pay, I am locked into one class. No. You are locked into 
the classes that use the stat on that mag. So, a bouncer wants a dex mag, which means that character will also be able to do braver just as equally well. And when it comes out, phantom. And phantom is one of the most OP overpowered classes in the game. Okay, that um, sounds like a good thing. Yes, that's why my current character is not doing a tech mag and have hardcore forcing it out. It is doing a dex mag and katana braver, despite the fact that I am not a fan of the katana. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Bouncer. Okay. Um, the other thing I've noticed about female casts specifically is that it can be quite difficult to find parts that cover the upper legs. Uh, yeah, so? It may or may not be a factor for you. Yep. You do realize I was a swimmer for most of my life, correct? Yes, but the upper leg of a female, or a even a cyber, cybernetic female, could be slightly different than showing your upper leg. <laughs> I was around females that also showed their upper leg for the majority you of know, my I'm life. I'm just pointing time. out, you know, if you want more modest apparel for your character, it may be a little harder to get. They're wearing swimsuits. Am I wrong? I don't think any of these look like swimsuits, really. Well, and also, why would you be wearing a swimsuit when you're out doing? Because anime. <laughs> this game was not an anime game at launch. This wasn't an anime game at launch. No, you can thank episode four for that. You can thank. But... Wait, what? Episode 4 of the story. Oh. Because it's split up into episodes. So this was, so this is like the reverse of Star Ocean. Um. Where it was yeah, anime yeah, sure. until, uh, until the, until, uh, Last Hope in the North okay. America version where they tried to CGI like, everything instead of making of it anime. Yeah, like, fair enough. I promised Will I'd go find a cutscene from the first game. of the plot for PSO 1, which is in no way tied to the plot for PSO 2. Okay. And PSO 1 was definitely not an anime game. Um, they started to allow a little bit more anime to start creeping in with the PSU series, but it didn't really start to become anime hardcore until um, episode 4 really when this game first launched it really didn't have all that much of an anime thing to it at least as far as I could tell Bracky, your mag is going to be absolutely terrible. Hat wacky? In chat, she's saying that she just feeds Mag whatever weapons she gets. Basically. Oh yeah, that's that's good. That's not good. <laughs> no. Gotta have blue hair. There you go. You think so? So, you'd want to be feeding your mag so that it gets the right stats. Because if it has the wrong stats, you have a very, very bad mag. I will 
not be able to equip things at end game levels. End game, you know, like, you just would not be able to equip the best gear in the game. That's not creepy. <laughs> you haven't even gotten to body customization yet. Trying to zoom out. So yes, there Wacky, you your mag is completely messed up because you don't want any defense stat on a mag ever. <laughs> that means she's put a lot of back or like units into it. No, I'm she's Finn and Chubby. Related her Rangers into it, so that would actually increase dexterity and attack. And Dexterity is a garbage stat unless you have one of the mag conversion skills that turns that Dexterity into something else. Uh, buddy boy's not amused. I'm gonna make her freakishly tall. Feral, do you know how tall 204 centimeters is? Nope. Well, it's just shy of seven foot. Yeah, so? <laughs> Gonna be a massive robot. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, about as tall as uh, Nock is. He's four inches, he's uh, six foot eight. It's it's six centimeters short of being seven feet. Which... All right, buddy, buddy boy's going a little ballistic here. Yeah. We will, we'll keep our fembot here. And uh, I will uh, try and appease Buddy Boy. Uh, just hang out here. If anyone comes in, just tell them I'm on daddy duty, okay? Okay. Duty. Right. Thanks. Duty.
Okay, so operator. If I were to want to to uh, spend the real mo uh, real money to pick up additional mags, those mags would be specific to the one character. Yes. Yeah. Once okay. you spend the ticket. So what you do is you go to the AC shop. You select either purchase the inventory or purchase the storage, whichever you prefer. Yeah. And it would scroll down almost to the bottom and it will say mag ticket. And for I mean And that's the item. You would need you would need only in theory only up to four yeah uh, a total of four mags. One for each type of support. Um so technically once Phantom comes out you only need three. Okay. Because fours will the most optimal subclass for fours once Phantom comes out is Phantom, and because of that, you'll get access to the skill on Phantom that converts a Dex mag into an all attack mag. So basically, you get a level 800 mag. Um. And so, Force, being the only one that wants a pure tech, well, that wants a tech mag at all, basically this one, because Tekker wants a striking mag. Um, Force kind of just goes like, oh, hey, uh, tech mags, yeah, those used to be a thing. Um, so yes, there is that. Uh, and the other thing is, when you buy it, you buy a mag ticket, which you buy the ticket, and then you have to use the ticket. So you can buy the ticket on one character, and then use it on another character. If you put it in your storage. Man. Persona the Mast is hard. Not hard for Oh, you saw swell. Really hoping that this June 12th announcement includes crafting as being like very, very soon. Because my inventory is full.
my ankles are getting a really good workout. <laughs> well, I suppose there's worse things. Is he asleep now, though? That is the question. Uh, he's nursing right now. Talking about with the cast and part cars part customization. Right. Do you have this instead of outfits or other apparel? Um, color cannot be changed without a color change pass. So make sure you get it the way you like it. Yeah. Because it will be the exact same color schema for all of your outfits. Oh, and the one that asked you human, 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 er, cast, that's your skin color. Ah, okay. So, make sure you're on the palette that you want. If you're on the human palette, you have a very limited palette. Um, if you're on the human, human, it's very unlimited, it's very natural colors, and then the cast one is just a Raiji bib. You could have blue skin. <laughs> or stark red skin. Demon robots. Oh my gosh, what is the best way to get the S rank against Persona of the Mask the first time? Just let the time run out? Which, like the very first one? Yeah. Kill him really quickly. I've been trying, but... Is it damage based? Yes, there's a damage based score, but I don't know if that's the only thing that... Don't take damage. Accessories, and you can have duplicates of the same accessory. You can only have four, I think, if you're, uh, or no, never mind. Once he's in the alliance, he'll have to make sure he turns it off if he wants that fourth accessory to show up. Yes, there's an alliance accessory, which occupies slot number four in terms of accessories. You don't have to worry about that during character creation, though. Right. I'm just saying that once it's done, he chooses a fourth accessory slot. Um, a lot of people made some, uh, really weird things using multiple viola caps. Because you can also change accessory positions, angles, and orientations. Of course you can. Which was not something that was in the game at much. Accessories had one position, and you had to make okay. do with it. Yep, you can just dodge him to 
get the S rank. Ah. Yes. I think we'll go with that. We'll go with the floppy ears and the uh, trigun, trigun glasses. It's gonna show up. Yep, they're on the shoulder. We'll get the star one. We had to have a deco. She's got her, she's got her blast shields on. Oh yeah, that's angry face. Uh, I'm not gonna take more careful look through the face customization. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm you so I used I used Joy of Being for Fall Fantasy 14. Um Well what's to say she yeah, didn't we'll use, cross dimensions? We'll use Joy of Being for this one. As for this one. <laughs> Wow, the bridge teleporter is there. It looks to be functional, but it is uh, currently marked as entry forbidden. Wow. All right, filthy casual. Back in the original F1 through three, it uh, just was another block teleporter. Hmm? Oh, cheers. The one up. Name's off. Pleased to meet you, mate. Mm -hmm. I'd wondered about that. Yeah. Oh, right. There's no need to search the room. It's you I'm yeah, talking to. Mate, is you, mate. Three Fates put us together for this mission. So let's make the most of it. Teleportation coordinates set. Basically just all that. arcs operative. Proceed with your mission. Guess they're all set. Looks like we've got a nice and easy spot for our first mission, eh, mate? Fight a friend successful. For some reason, I'm a bit nervous to jump into that telepool. But hey, Ox. You know, it is kind of dumb. Give it a shot, mate. They say that that's successful, but they don't automatically add the person to your friends list. <laughs> All right. So I am. Um, should I play this with a controller or keyboard mouse? I Whatever your preference. Ends up being. Well. But... Isn't this a, a lot sight? of people yeah, like the whole well, area's covered top to bottom and nothing but I green. Think people are raw, but it really gets the old <laughs> blood pumping. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try with controller first. Now hold on. Oh, let's not get too eager too quickly. Ah, that's right. This is our first taste of actual combat in the field. I guess we ought to practice the basics first then. 
operator, I let my friend know that I got that outfit for her. And I sent her a picture of it on my character, and she was like, static. I am Hilda, the operator. I will begin your certification mission. First, I will check your vision. Take a look around you. <laughs> Watching barrels jumping around using jet boots. What's wrong, mate? So, Try to Good. You didn't you seem to have any trouble. Jet boots. Next, I will confirm when your maneuverability. You use, Move to the specified um, location. An ability. That weapon ability that it has set to, I think it's your right bumper. Looks like you have no problem with movement. It will do something Next, special depending on. You, jump. you see those blocks uh, in front what of you? Jump over them. Good. Okay. Now I'll confirm how you attack. Teleporting a virtual target. Use your equipped weapon to attack it. Okay, let's kick some ass. They got really quiet. Next, I am concentrating on decimating cards. targets. Teleporting virtual targets. <laughs> oh, I think this time we're just going to about some targets. I know, right? This is going to be very hard. Or just wait. But that takes forever. Also, jet boots is a blind weapon that makes it so that you have double well, jump from the start. Well let's continue by confirming your oh, yeah, perfect oh. attack. Destroy well, the virtual target. Every class jets it, but out. Having jet boots equipped. You will need to wait until level 40. Yep. If you nail a perfect okay. attack, you'll pack way more of a punch than usual. Photon armor techniques are also effective, so be aggressive with your attacks. Oh, awesome. oh okay, I see how that works. Don't forget There's that actually a character who now she'll give it's you time many to commence your practical to do training. That are all Proceed. based on doing getting those red perfect attacks on certain enemies. Oh, is that a Sylvan? It sure seems like a handful, but uh, yeah, one of these times the try pressing to be your friends. Y May button and then hitting the right bumper no. right after. Whatever that one on the right is, but on the main bar. And it'll make you do flips backwards away from the enemy. Oh, I Multiple enemies have appeared. Don't forget to dodge their attacks. Things flip. <laughs> so back out to use your number one item.
see how to shoot. I, I see how to switch in between items now. Yeah, it's gotta be really interesting to do it. They are teaching you how to do it. If your HP reaches zero, you will be incapacitated. Don't forget to heal ASAP. Okay, this completes the certification That's mission. Intuitive. Proceed to the end. Really good way to accidentally use it. Emergency code due. You. Your objective oh, is to suppress the rock the bear. Utilize the skills you hope to it. Read the enemy's movements and strike its weak point. You'll see an opening after it performs a large attack. Aim for it. Wait. You're going to fight that huge thing all of a sudden? Mate, I'll provide backup. You take the lead. I'll sit up. I don't even want to do this music, man. Uh -huh. You can rebound it before. Even so, I like, I mean, using my MMO mouse, I never have to worry about its my ability. Watch its movements yep. closely exactly. and attack its head after it performs a large attack. Right here. Right here. We just need to dodge these attacks. Then we can hit it while it's down. I just so keep dodging, mate. Number zero. The, or, oh yeah, number zero is my mag. I keep nine is my atomizer. Completed. Uh, Woohoo! Yeah, all my texts. The results now. are superb. The way I see it, you should have no problem being an arcs operative. All right, time to make for the collection point so you can come back. Head toward the next area. Head towards the next area. Yay! It's almost time to see Ape for who he really is. Wait, you didn't open the box? Oh. Oops. <laughs> Turn his and nose up with all those healing items. Healing items, and I don't remember if that first one drops abilities or not. It's oh. just healing items. It's scripted to be doing on a maze. Okay. What's happening? I just didn't remember if it gives you a disc at the beginning or not. Emergency message from General Control to it all give you anything until A code F order has been issued for Neveria. Dangerous thing. photon levels detected. I, I still remember the day when has been that picture would Nivarius. come up and everything, and there was Spatial no voice in it. Been detected. <laughs> hey, you seen this? I man? think these scripted cutscenes like this were only voiced over by a jerk. Yeah, the times. This is some kind of joke. This lord just appeared uh -oh. out of thin air. Uh oh. The, the darkness presence. within Earth. darkness. No, no, no. Darkness within darkness is profound darkness. This is just fast one. Are these wankers real false boy? The evil yeah, things trying to consume the entire the universe. Our version called them the darkers. Why are they showing up here of all places? There shouldn't be any on Nevarius. Because why? Man, that was almost yeah, too dead on. Good really thing I prepared for the worst. Uh, my so you to help us. Uh, uh, we're safe. We don't have time to settle down right now, though, because the collection point is just up ahead. Let's bust through these things. Wait a sec. Are we fighting these things too? <laughs> That's what you out. signed up He's for when you joined play. Arcs, isn't it? <laughs> your friend there looks ready and raring to go. What's your This excuse? little pipsqueak needs to die. Come Often? on, mate. Yeah. Yes. Fine. Nah. I get it. He gets better, but... You don't have a heckin' choice in it one way or another, it's, huh? It's his first oh, day Oh, no! Job, no! 
No, 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 no. Rodeo. Uh, He's from NorCal. Hmm? Oh, uh, oh, sorry, didn't mean to stare. That Alpha I get boy. The feeling like I've seen Often? you somewhere before. Yeah, he's from NorCal. Just he said heckin'. Place where though? Anyway, <laughs> think less, act more. Nope. Let's get this show mm -hmm. on the road, rookies. Mm -hmm. Stick with me. Well, get used to him because he no. shows up every once in a while. You don't like the car. I, don't like that. I know, but did, did they really have to make him from NorCal? Seriously. They were trying to go for the British Aussie thing, but. Apparently that slipped in there because of one of the good drivers. Does your current or weapon suit you? Oh, you? You are should so try much various kinds of weapons. Until you <laughs> I know. Nice thing about the jet boost is that the only ability to get go up your barn gun doesn't have anything more than that. But you just like that. Yeah. You're right. Um, that one that I always use where it just has you dash back and forth through the screen. It would be nice when he gets that. All right, the collection point is just ahead. We have to endure a bit longer. <sighs> Why did this have to happen right after our certification mission? Because plot. Dragon, and I got revived by one of them. I don't know. Well, I suppose yeah. the character, the other player, and he's, he's having a chance to do it very rarely. And if you have the right mag, the mag can do it as well. You oh, you know what? That's probably what it was. It's probably my mag bringing me back. Because I do have a revive on mag. That is very rare. That is very rare. I'll clear them out with a proton blast. Buy me like, some time. Like, attacking the leg, actually. Oh, with your somersault. Hold the button. I think I figured out our approach. And then let it. So let's try focusing our attacks on one of the legs. I go for attack.
one's done already. Your uh, dash kick ability also will auto track to a target. You can always back off, use it, get into battle, and then you dodge out. Possibility of killing it too. Me. Rar. Yeah, not bad. Not you held your own. Tutorial. I'm all set here, so let's Neither keep pressing on. I choose you! I don't think Ponyta does that. <laughs> That's the Mechon Ponyta. <laughs> Holy shit! Where's that oh. effect on Bloss? Look what it did in just a split second! Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? All thanks to you two standing firm. Oh, yes, the stand Appreciate the help. Nah, yeah, whatever. Surrounding area secured. We're sending the telepod now. <laughs> yes, Come on, work. That. <laughs> I remember the JP version when the English translation came out for a certain chapter. Everyone was like shocked that often. Oh, break the, the red crystal. Which I don't think it does. Pick that up. And. Well, go to the ship. Go to the, the, the teleport machine. Welcome back, everyone. I'm glad you made Still it back one in of one my favorite piece. things to do. Everyone to okay? That no little injuries? Light ball in that <laughs> pipe. <laughs> Hey, come on. They had me watching out for him. You think I let something happen? Oh, for me, it's just one of those things where, like, at least something happens. Now, while for it's proper started. introductions, I'm Zeno. The one who never shuts up is Echo. And Pleasure she's meeting the two cute. of you. Also, do me a favor and ignore everything he says. <laughs> oh, cheers. The name's often. Pleasure's all ours, love. <gasps> Hashtag me too. And this here's my new mate. We're pretty fresh out of training. I feel like Hoffman can never what's what decide Sorry. where he's from. <laughs> yeah, you can't decide if he's Aussie or British. Sounds like me when I try and do Russian accents. Don't sweat the details, kid. Let the higher ups worry about it, or get stuck figuring it out for yourself. Those things back there, false spawn. They're pretty much Ark's In enemy Russia, number one. You know, catch That's Pikachu. about all I can Pikachu tell you. Catch you. Ugh. <laughs> You're actually kind of lucky you had to face the hard truth about life in Arcs right away. Keeps you from holding on to any illusions, at least. Have a little sympathy, Zeno. These kids just got thrust into the middle of a battlefield. They must be shocked. Well, shocked, I tell you. Shocked. On it won't make us not at war with the false bond. The sooner you rip off that bandage, the longer you can survive. Oh, come on. Don't scare them. You both made it back in one piece, right? Certification mission completed. That's cause to celebrate. Uh, yeah. Attaboy often. Even if nothing Atta makes sense, boy. as long as you have the willpower you to grit your my teeth hair? and rod, you'll do just fine. That pain, <laughs> that frustration you feel, never forget it. And never give up. Exactly if you can handle that, you'll manage. <laughs> yeah. Zeno's got away with courage, doesn't he? Until you realize he stole them all wholesale from someone else. This is literally his first day on the job. And he had to take on... prepared for this. He had to take on the thing that this entire organization exists to take out. Okay, okay. This, this is a huge aside here. So I kind of feel like his character is a lot like... Um, Oh, not snow. What's that little? What's that kid from Fall? Hope. 15? Hope. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people give him a lot of crap 
for being such a garbage character. It's like, um, no, your mom like dies well. right in front yeah. of your face. Because he's not a garbage character. He's got an actual plot arc and an actual backstory, and he's actually well thought out. No, and he and he he actually has a very, as you said, he actually has a really good character arc. He actually is a dynamic character, unlike Vaughn from Final Fantasy XII. Thanks, Echo. What's Just yeah, pull my eyes wide open, why don't you? And that's anyway, and that's the thing about my mentor's Hulk wisdom is Final my Fantasy wisdom. Thirteen, he his growth throughout the game is actually one of the key things about the whole dang game. Nice saying. Did you come up with yourself? And in the end, he actually yourself? becomes a more interesting besides, character. You always do whereas whatever you have you another want, character like Snow, who you could care less about the entirety of the game. He's only good for one thing: being a meat shield in the um, oh, what's that garbage fight? It's one of those major hunt fights. Um, Peach, not like Chew, Peach. I don't know. I, I didn't even use, I didn't use him for a lot of that. In fact, when, even when it came to Sentinel, I used Fang. Yeah, yeah, Fang was a much better Sentinel. But there was one, there was one of those hunts where he was necessary to be the Sentinel just because he's a damage sponge. By the way, Farrell, Echo's giving you the stink guy. Did you take it too long? Oh, I know. <laughs> she totally is. <laughs> She totally is, and she did That's catch like her me. Favorite expression. It really is. <laughs> yeah. Is it my fault you're always late? Oh, oof. Stop it, Zeno. I'll Look, admit though that they actually the got ship. her stink guy really good. Oh yeah. They, Quit standing there snickering and help with the preparations, now, Rookie. They nailed her English voice acting. Zeno's too. Like both of them. It's like, eh. I'm still better with. I still enjoy Echoes more than Zeno's. Xenos is big compared to the JP. Alright, time to find out what block Feral's gonna be on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, see that. oh, yeah, as soon as the teleporter. <laughs> Alright. And I guess to the cutscene. Right, which I need to rewatch the opening cutscene again. <laughs> um, you'll have to go to the VOD and watch that because the only other way to watch that cutscene is to make a new character. Or yeah, I don't YouTube. Think you can. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just go to the VOD. Yeah, so yeah, on. yeah. Ugh. Wow. Now that we're all back in one piece, maybe it's time to. Hold it right there, mister. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't Always know gotta so write your reports, Wazowski. You forgot to well, file rookies, your papers, Well, I guess you're on your own Wazowski. now. Can't play babysitter Oh, forever. no, I kid you not. There is this I'm one... Watching. There is a lady Always I watching. have to deal with at the health department every once in a while, and she seriously sounds like that. What? Yes. She seriously sounds like her. You didn't put the emergency door on your pool drying. Um, I didn't <laughs> think that was important. You gotta make sure to set the panic bar at 42 inches off finish grade. <laughs> All right. And make sure you have feet and inches on the pool on the depth markers. Why are you still working here? <laughs> still, uh, maybe. Good luck Don't out you there. Have something better to do with your life. Dude, I could now. go off. I could go off on the health department so much right now. <laughs> For multiple reasons. A couple of hurricanes. <laughs> or maybe the hurricanes, all that stuff we just went through. Either way. This looks like the lobby for us, Ark, so should be plenty of shots. In any case, I'm gonna need some time. Alright, go away. Oh, you'll be back to speak with him soon. Yep. <laughs> Which, he actually, there is some purpose to talking to him after this. 
The title reward is waiting for you at the title counter. Block 70. Greetings. I'm Astarte, the officer in charge of basic instruction at ARCS. Allow me to give you an overview of our ARCS mission practical instruction program. The purpose of these ARCS missions is to offer you nice. a practical way to learn the basics of the organization block. by completing various tasks. It will all make more sense once we have now please select ARCS missions from the quest menu. I have been expecting. Where the freak did you go? I am in a class. There is a discrepancy in the perception oh, of that phrase. My name is. I am a being who is capable only of. However, the path you must. Therefore, I can merely set you up. Gather divergences and bring forth the. Ine I am a being who is only capable of observation. My role is not to guide. I pray that the path born of my regret will serve as a beacon to guide you when a compass cannot. Forgive me. So you don't necessarily exist, yet you have enough regret to make something manifest that's supposed to guide me through my existence? Oh, Xion's complicated. You'll figure it out later. <laughs> yeah. I you know, like all like women. Probably, it will, well, no, I, I think fair, uh, Operator, I'll have to explain a couple of things to really get the gist of what again. she is. But I bid you dang, she's great. <coughs> I will not and say the reason. she is one of the I cannot. people who... The, an the voice actress that did her usually is on the right mark. <laughs> she nice. Nice. I still don't see him. Congratulations! You've completed your mission. There he is. Once you've finished with the mission, you can then claim the rewards for it. Select Arcs missions from the quest menu oh, to obtain hey. your rewards. 30 minutes to win queue. I'm with Win Frame. Oh, that's a perfect one. 15 minutes. Actually, you know what? I am going to be I'm going to be calling it for the night. Oh, come on! I, I know, I'm here. here! I know I just got here! That's the basic process for these missions. Hey! Well, make, as make as sure. long as Will's not here, I can say, at least my frickin' game works. Uh, okay. I think hey. it might not be working due to internet issues, because the thing I just observed is that I cannot send Will a party to play for the story. And daily and weekly missions will play off for the story. But Artemis Earlier can send me a party to play for the story. So he might uh, need to check his nap settings. So before you end up jumping off, there's a couple Welcome things. Welcome to PSO2. Press start, go to your menu. You are about to embark on a grand adventure on the Universal stage. Go to our gamer Serving cards to Brenda. As a member of oh, okay. Arts. In PSO2, so you, you can participate yeah, in you ARC's have missions have to initiate it. that will allow you to unlock new content and receive a variety of rewards. From the main menu, you can access your ARC's missions via the shortcuts button. The story of PSO2 is revealed through the completion of story quests. However, ARC's missions do not include any content linked to story progression, so you can complete these missions at your own pace. Okay. Okay, so how do I access stuff? I don't know how it's done. I control it. Hey. Put your on keyboard. Wow. Okay, just hit. Hey. 
Is it the menu? Press escape. And hit T. And that'll bring up the mouse controls. And you can just click on us. Oh, okay. Um, new gamer card. Uh, add friend. Okay. Okay. I can't view your gaming card. I'm guessing operator. Yep. Yes. Why can't you view my gamer card? Uh, it no let me. I can view yours. It, it seriously will not let me view your gamer card. Okay, let me go fucking around the Xbox app. While you're doing that, go to the escape menu and start going through all the notifications. Yep. <laughs> As well, go into your items and make sure you equip the new, um... So I can join the Alliance? Yeah. Operator, yeah. Which that unit, right? Okay. There you go. What was it? Maybe it was because you had a pending invite to the alliance. Okay. Alright, so that should be it, yeah? Okay, now... Make sure that you go into your second one and equip weapons, because you just got a new set of jet boots that you want to equip. So I was trying to see if I can fix my uh, my mouse settings because I don't like the I don't like the uh, Y axis. Uh -huh. So anyway, so what was I supposed to be looking at? Go to your weapons or equip weapons. You just got a new pair of jet boots you want to equip. is under game settings camera settings oh yeah that's right I like inverted for okay so tomorrow night um, and you still got notifications I tried to check this Oh, there you go. 
Okay. Position change, I am in Nemesis. You're also going to go talk to the Visophon over by the sidewall because it's got a notification button. Which one? To the right, farther right, farther right. That. You've got a bunch of stuff hanging over for joining the game. Including, uh, it gives it to you back. I don't know if you're going to go one and I think it's just from Sweetness. I think he just got it. But he doesn't want to equip that until he's picked up the client order from Afin, who will give him a client order for equipping units. This is true. Okay. So can I go to bed now? Yes. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Press the actual log out. Yeah, I got I got my long run to do tomorrow morning. So I need to maybe exit. What's going on? It's not doing anything. It uh, takes a moment. It's been know. longer than a moment. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. So that's it for tonight. So I kind of, I kind of like the, uh, I like the battle mechanics of this so far. So I think, I think this is going to be a lot of fun for a while. So, um, so yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna end it there tonight. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. Um, also. Um, I am starting, well, I am restarting my uh, Team Zoot Swim technique stream, uh, which will take place right before this. I'm actually getting main Team Zoot uh, Primo uh, front page. So um, I will be streaming on the official, official site uh, on Facebook rather than just the uh, Southern California region site. So... What, baby? <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, so that'll be that'll be at eight o'clock tomorrow, um, and then I will start this stream straight after that. I freaking hope my boy actually goes to sleep tomorrow night because he hasn't been doing well the past couple of nights. So anyway, until tomorrow. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you, Artemis and Operator, for helping me get started on this. We will oh, definitely be having fun very soon. I promise. Of course. <laughs> All right, and good night, Isaiah Norris. Wherever you are. All right, good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>